Hi, this is Adam Berg, Global Solutions Architect for Veeam Software. I'm here with Janine Walter from NetApp. Janine, welcome. Hi Adam, thank you very much. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what you do at NetApp? I'm a Senior Technical Marketing Engineer for Data Protection at NetApp for all things ONTAP. That's great, so NetApp is famous for their snapshot technology. I want to talk to you a little bit today about snapshots and what they do for our customers in the data protection area. Yes, that's a great topic, right? So snapshots are great because it gives customers a lot more opportunities to create restore points. So because uh, ONTAP is so efficient, we can do uh, hourly snapshots, which gives customers the ability to meet their SLAs as well as reduce their RTO and RPOs. So. Should customers be using snapshots only as their only data protection strategy? That's a, a really great, a really great question, and I get asked that quite a bit because a lot of people think, "Oh, well, I'm just doing snapshots. I don't really need to do a backup." Um, but the fact of the matter is, you really need both formats, right? And the reason for that is that you know snapshots are great. So it gives us multiple restore points. It's really fast to restore. The backups are super, or the snapshots, I should say, are super fast. But it's the combination of backups and snapshots that really provide a complete data protection story. And the reason for that is that um, if, if we're using just snapshots only, it's only in the format of the, of the uh, storage array. So if we want to, let's say we want to change hypervisors or we need to do a bare metal restore, um, it's great to have the data in another format. And that gives us the flexibility then to use to restore to a different hypervisor or restore a bare metal restore. Um, also, backups really help you then for long-term storage because you really don't want to store um, you know, your snapshots for months, weeks, years. That's really more of a backup functionality. Uh, and you don't want to use primary storage for that. You really want to put that into a different format and maybe put that on E-Series or tier that to the cloud. So that's really great. So any security concerns yeah, with that's another snapshot really good point. only technology? Yeah, I was thinking about that right, yeah. right when we were talking about that too. You know, one, one of the things that we need to protect against, unfortunately, in this, in this day and age, right, is malware, um, bugs, things like that, as well as insider threats, right? So we don't want to have our format in just one format, just in storage snapshots, because we could have, you know, somebody do something nefarious on, on a storage array. Um, same thing with malware. You know, if we have malware affect the snapshots, that could affect our replicated snapshot as well. So it's really good to have isolation between backup as well as snapshots. Yeah, that's really interesting that you mentioned insider threats because I'm, I'm reminded of a, a recent customer conversation that I had where you know they had a snapshot only uh, backup or, or data protection policy, and they actually had a uh, uh, one of their storage admins delete all their storage snapshots. Oh. They had no other copies of their oh, data, no. right? So now they're bringing in Veeam right. to, to help them create a, a proper data protection strategy That's that includes snapshots, and include backup, including uh, and doing what we're calling an air gapping in between right. um, the the snapshots and the backup policies and having separate security. And it's policies. the two of them that really give you that complete data protection story. Great. Thank you so much, Janine. Where can we find out more about NetApp and Veeam? So you can find that at netapp.com slash veeam, and you can find me on Twitter at at j9walter. Great, thank you so much. Thank you, Adam. Mm -hmm.